What's up, guys and gals? This is likely going to be my last trapping video of the season, but we're back. You remember this place last fall? Where we caught beaver? Lots of big beaver. Like, we trapped nuisance for these people. Took 11 beaver out of here, if I remember correctly. I think seven or eight of them were big big beaver and they asked me to come back in the springtime and clean up what might be left and I said sure they called me yesterday and said hey there's a bunch of beaver left and I thought a bunch of beaver gosh how there's so many beaver in here so I came out um, there was caster mounds along the shoreline there was banked ends under the road banked ends along here that were there weren't here last fall they had seen a bunch swimming around and they were 100% correct but there was beaver left here, you know? When I was here yesterday setting traps, I saw three beaver, I'm not saying they weren't the same beaver, but in different occasions. So, come out here, super wind yesterday, set up a bunch of traps, 10 to be exact. Um, I actually added two more bank dens today. I set them right away before I checked. But we're gonna go around right now and check. I got three foot holds out, and seven 330s. I got some caster mounds, I got some bank dens set. All the, all the bank dens are, on, are under the road though. So I got three bank dens under the road and a foothold along over there. Anyway, let's go down, start checking traps. Hopefully we got some flat tails and we can rid this pond of some more of these beaver. Well, we got a caster mound over here, but I didn't see, I didn't see anything on it. There's, there's that caster right there, the old, beard, the old bearded man up on this stick that, uh, get that stick out of there, there we go. That no BS, extreme, nothing in it. Set another caster mound over here. Get over here, I can see the trap is gone and I can see a tail down there, which is good. That means we got another beaver taken out of this pond for these nice folks. This is a small beaver, it looks like, yep. Okay, you know, I didn't catch a lot of small beaver last year. Look at that, look at that catch. That thing is like up to the shoulder on this little fella. Oh, get that trap off of him. Yeah. Shablam, you guys. Successful catch there. I'm going to do a quick reset on this trap. Quick enough, anyway. Traps are just awesome. Get it way up there. Go down until she snaps. Until she snaps. Click. There we go. All right. If you can, if you can like not have to travel a long distance to put in these footholds, they are the way to go, you know. Just gonna go out here in this deeper spot in the water. Oh. Eh, a little too, a little too far. I come back just a hair. I think that'll be all right. All right. Trap and go right there for a moment. Push this T-bar back into the ground, into the water here. We're dealing with uh, a clay bottom here, which is really nice for trapping. Because it's tough to get the clay into the water, or it's tough to get the trap in, for the stakes in. And the best part is it's tough to get them out. All right, got my half-made caster mount set here. I didn't really push anything up here. I just got this trap right up close there. Here we 
go. Got the stick here. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna get a new one. Get some more bearded man beaver lure on there. Like so. Ooh. That's about ready. I messed up a little bit. There we go. That set's ready to take another beaver. Now we got this little fella here. Now we had a, another caster mound right here. Oh, I can see a beaver already a beaver already you guys right there boom suitcase catch wham bam thank you ma'am beaver number two another smaller beaver for sure yeah it's a smaller beaver That one wasn't a big, wasn't a real big beaver, but get them, get them out of their hair for them. That way there's hopefully none here for them next fall to chew stuff down with. fell off somewhere darn it it's not cool well I'm gonna have to just take it off and get it in place here just hope that it doesn't uh... there we go should be all right you guys it's way out there not hanging down by the triggers Again, all I'm doing is oops, trying to keep it so the wire isn't out for the world to see. But just grabbing this stuff here. There we go. Leave that opening for the beaver to see. There's still some bearded man on there. Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna. Let's just hope that they'll go in there. Woo. All right. Oh. Okay. Two beaver. I got, let's see here. You can see traps number five and six down there. And there's nothing in them. Oh, what number four? Ooh. Number four. Over here is sprung with nothing. Oh no, beaver. We got a beaver. Little fella. Little fella. Sweet. Another beaver. A little, a little beaver down. It's awesome. Down. 
Okay. 330 is there. Again, I'm just going to pull some stuff up here and block these sides off. Even just stacking these weeds up in the air to make it look, you know, like the beaver can't go around, you know, is, is great. Stack those weeds up like that. The beaver thinks they can't make it around the set, you know, or the easiest way is to go through here. And there we go, you guys. I'm going to add some bearded beaver man back there, just freshen that up. And that's it. We got four more traps along the road over there. Hopefully take another beaver or four. Haha. <laughs> All right. Banked in there. Two other banked ends down here. Nothing in any of them. Good, solid sets. And then I put a foothold in right here. So, nothing in any of them. You get to the foothold, and you can see that trap is gone, and I can see something dark at the end of the drowning rod. That's telling me these beaver are smart, you know. Got some smart beaver here. Because they're not going in the bank then. But, I didn't use footholds last fall, so I don't, you know, I'm just assuming I'm catching, catching some beaver that are kind of trap shy. Oh yeah, that's a beaver. Oh. Yep, there we go. Once again, not a real big one. I think it's bigger than the other ones though. Look at that, solid. Solid front foot catch on this beaver, you guys. That's no BS. Doing, putting in work. Okay. Oh, nice deep water here too. Plenty of water to drown these beaver in best part hands down there we go all right quick sets Especially, you know, I'd say along the road, but everybody knows me in this town. A lot of friends here, so I don't suspect anybody's going to be stealing my stuff. Okay. Trap is reset here. Ready to rock and roll. Look at that, get that bugger right up in there. That's so deadly, you guys. I'm gonna refresh my bearded man here. Jam it in the jar. I have to pick up some more before uh, next fall rolls around. Only because I lost the jar yesterday here someplace. Here we go. Fever number four, ladies and gentlemen. Well, complete our first check for spring here. I didn't think there's gonna be that many beaver left in here. I didn't even think there's gonna be this many I caught today left in here. My truck's a mess. Just you know, there was snow all over it obviously and it all melted. Just gotta clean it out. All right. <laughs> there's a small beaver there. Small beaver, small beaver. This is might be a two year old. So that's four beaver total out of this check today, you guys. It's supposed to pour the next few days. So um, <clears throat> hopefully we'll get some beaver tonight. 
and then I'll deal with the rain as it comes. Yo, what's up? We are back. Picked up four beaver here yesterday. Hopefully pick up some more beaver today. That or maybe there'll be no beaver and we can get the majority of them. Uh, I think they're getting pretty thin now. Like I said, four yesterday. Caught a lot of big ones last fall and just a couple small ones. Now today, or now yesterday, one two-year-old and three small ones. I think they're getting pretty thin. We might pick up another one or two, maybe. But got 12 traps in now. Added a couple more yesterday. It's raining today. It's going to rain the next three days, so it's going to wash my caster away. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, probably won't check tomorrow, but I'll check on Sunday. So, well, let's run around and check these traps. Well, <clears throat> whoops. We checked the first three sets. Um, yesterday we had a double in those sets. Nothing. Um, now we set this bank den yesterday with an H stand. And I can see this beaver in it right now. So we at least got another one. Another bank den we set right down here. I don't know what's going on with that. Is there anything in there or not? But let's uh, get this guy out of here. Another, another little guy coming out of this bank den. So I, I think there's only little guys left, you guys. But that's all right. Just get, we're just getting, trying to get these beaver out of here. That's three, four, I think I had three, four, I think I, we had two or three small ones last fall, so it would be six small ones out of here now. Which is a lot of small ones too. So 11 plus five, that's 16 beaver out of here. Which is a lot. I mean, that's a lot. That's got it. That's got to be in my top, top three for amount of beaver I've taken out of one pond. For numbers of beaver, I should say. Oops. Ugh. Get this flipped around. There we go. was pretty easy. There we go. Oh. One more small one. Let's check this next bank then we set up. Maybe we'll get lucky and pull another one. Oof da. That trap is still set. We've got one more trap down here to check. And then we'll move over to the road. Nothing. One beaver today is all out of 12 sets. 
I don't think there's much left in that pond, you guys. There can't be. Last fall, I figured if I caught anything this spring, it would be small ones. Now I've got four small ones and maybe a two-year-old. So, here we go. Got that one yesterday. Gonna let it sit for two days, go back and check those sets and probably pull them. We'll see. There can't be much left. Yo, what's up? We're back for check number three on this beaver pond. Um, we've taken five beaver out of here this spring. That's 16 total. I let it sit for two days now. It's been raining for, this is the third day straight it's been raining now. Um, I'm sure a lot of my caster has been washed away, but I'm going to re rebait them. Um, do wait another two days, probably check Tuesday. It'll warm up and then, anyway, I'll keep at it for probably the next week anyway. We'll see. We'll see what we get in these traps because there can't be much left, I wouldn't imagine. Anyway, 12 traps to check. Let's run down and check it out. Okay, first trap was sprung with nothing in it. We're over to our second trap here. I can't see, I don't know. I can't see what's going on down there. So we're gonna pull it out and check it out. Basically, Oh, we got something. What do we got here? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, we got a big beaver by the back foot. Holy. Got a really big beaver here by the back foot. Look at that, you guys. There we go. Another big beaver. That's like 10 big beaver out of here. Look at that deep back leg catch on this beaver, you guys. That is awesome. Oh. Whew. The water has gone up here a little bit. Which is actually kind of good. I mean, then at least, uh, ooh, let me see here. I'm gonna, let's see here. push this back I'll push this back a little bit for me some geese out there that aren't happy with me oh push this down right here there we go huh another big beaver 17 beaver out of this lodge so far these no BS traps are seriously no BS. They got power. Man, are they powerful traps. All right. Water went up a little bit, so we're gonna probably end up moving this drowning Rod up just a little bit as well. Ugh. Okay. be roughly oh. and we're gonna oh. anchor the trap back down here is all traps right there make sure to get caught in our hand oh settle down goose and then we're gonna put the trap Right there, just under the water. Whew. Get another beaver to come up here and inspect this. And hopefully, 
on our next check, we'll have another one. I mean, it's crazy. Crazy. Scoop some of the bearded man up. You guys, anybody that wants to buy this bearded man beaver lure, um, they have a fa they have a Facebook page that you can go look up bearded man beaver lure. Um, they don't have a I don't think they have a website. You have to message them through Facebook if I re recall properly. But either way, if you get a hold of them, they'll get you hooked up with the bearded man because that stuff's the bearded bomb. I don't know, that, that's supposed to be funny. All right, let's bring this guy up on the road here. Go check the rest of these sets. Mm. Okay. Um, this trap sprung, I think. Sprung with nothing in it. That's disappointing. Darn it. Huh. All right. Nothing in the bank dens. But I don't, well, I don't know. This trap's, trap is missing. There might be something down at the bottom of it there. Can't tell for sure. <sighs> these footholds are getting these beaver these big ones I should say oh. I think we got something boys and girls oh yeah we got another big beaver yep big beaver by the back leg look at that that one's dark that one's almost black That one's so dark colored, you guys. Nine, ten. I think that's ten big beaver out of this pond now. Holy crap. These footholds are big. The no BS is bringing them in, ladies and gentlemen. And that's no BS. Glad I put these footholds in. Just getting the last of these big beaver. Oh. This is supposed to be a caster mound up in here. Now the water went up more and more. So I'm just gonna push some weeds up here and open this up just a little bit. And hopefully, if there's, I don't know if there's any big beaver left in here, I mean, I had three sprung traps today and two of them held beaver. Ugh. Oof -da. Okay. All right. Temporarily got that anchored in the bottom already really good Oh, Get that t-bar steak in there. Oh ah. There we go got that in there Trap is right here Gonna get it up nice and close this water level that went up the last couple days has really kind of messed with some of my stuff here so you're see, you kind of seeing back foot catch wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but it's all right. Produced a beaver, back foot, deep water. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Put the bearded man right back there again. Here we go. I'm just gonna pull 
this i'm just gonna pull some grass in here i want to pull this if you ever leave your t-bar stakes so somebody had mentioned this to me if you ever leave your t-bar stakes out of the water at all like i'm not worried about the beaver pulling this t-bar stake out you know of this i left it up about four inches it's probably you know 34 36 inches long it's not going to affect this i left it up put some stuff on there to help channel those beaver back to that trap there there we go two big beaver today rock and roll all right two more big beaver today safe to say i can clean my truck out it's not gonna freeze anymore too cold i think tomorrow night it's supposed to be 30. after that it's only onward and upward ladies and gentlemen that's seven beaver out of here now this spring 11 last fall 18 beaver out of this lodge see that that one lodge right there and this one pond it isn't very big had 18 beaver so far there's banked ends along here banked ends along that shoreline there you know i often wonder if there isn't a lodge on the other side of these tracks here or something you know some beaver traveling over here maybe i mean there's still ice that that's still there's no ice here but that pond is still iced over that whole lake right there is still totally iced over so beaver can't travel when there's ice on the lake i don't know anyway we'll be back in a couple days for another check yo back for another check at this crazy pond here out there it's all open now i think it was open last time too but we've caught so many beaver out of this pond 11 last fall and now seven so far this spring. I think four on my first check, one on my second check, five, and then two big ones in foothold on the last check. Um, now, I drove by here last night just to look and I did see some fur floating out here, so hopefully we can expect one catch. Or I saw something look like beaver anyway. So, 12 sets out here, caster mounds, in bank dens i think we've caught one small beaver of the bank den and the other six from the spring here has came from caster mounds so let's run out and check it <sighs> well checked all those traps down there uh there's nothing nothing in any of those get down here this 330 is gone and just out to the left there i can see a hump of fur floating so that looks like beaver number 4697 for this place it's a big beaver too actually this is beaver number four this is beaver number 19 for this place oh it's a big beaver too Yeah, this is beaver number 19 out of this pond right here. Oh. And yet another big beaver, eight, nine, 10. Um, this is beaver, big beaver number like 11 or 12 or something on that order. You guys, come on, get out of there. He's got his foot wrapped up in this. A little bit oh there we go shablam look at that another big beaver you guys there's my caster stick i just kind of shoved up in the top there well <laughs> got some loons out here now this pond, the ice is out on this pond. Now, the ice on the other side of the railroad tracks here is not out, which I don't know. It honestly leads me to believe that all these beaver are from this one pond, to be honest. I mean, because it make, I mean, it's impossible for beaver to travel under the culverts and stuff um, with ice, with an ice sheet on over there. I just don't see it happening, you know? 
God, I could I could be wrong. I just don't know how there can be so many beaver in here. Okay. Ooh. Just back on here like so. Such a pretty, I mean, such a, such a simple set, you know. Oops, there's that. Once again, we're just gonna pull a bunch of grass up on here. Grass up on both sides, in fact. There we go. Bam, you guys. Trap is reset. Basically, I'm just gonna put some bearded beaver man on top of the stick, shove it back behind that set again. Well, you guys just pulled a big one from over there um, not gonna lie this trap's been here for like five days with nothing in it and there's a big beaver floating right there and to top it off when I got here I could see another big beaver floating down there in our foothold that's numbers 20 and 21 out of this pond how is that even possible Seriously, how is this possible? That is freaking insane. There's my stake, my swivel stick, right there. And then boom, big beaver, right there. I don't know it's crazy this is freaking crazy Another big beaver. Oh, right there. Let's go check the next trap. All right. Cut a handful of beaver out of this trap. I just checked my other two 330s and there's nothing in them. There's the two beaver there. Caught that one in a 330 in the bank den. Caught that one in a caster mound by the tree. And from here, I can already see the tip of a tail sticking out of the water right there. See that? The tip of a tail. That is a big beaver. Really big. Like, really big. Yes. Oh! Okay. Wow. Big female. Big female. That's two, two big females out of this pond now. Two big females out of this pond, okay? This one here would, you know, would be having kits in a 
in a little while, <clears throat> causing more problems. Whoa, for these people. Oh. Another big blanket, you guys. Doing this right by the road, too. Hopefully, and some angry tree huggers up in here. They just don't understand the damage these things do. 21 beaver. That's a personal record out of one pond. For sure. Oh, here's the droning rod set up. And shove it back in the bottom down here again. Some, uh, I can get my stake up here anyway. Yeah, here we go. Shove it down to the bottom there. <clears throat> These no BS traps are no BS. So I checked this one last night quick, and there was no beaver in this one last night. So when I stopped here, before I didn't have my waders or nothing with, to take the other one out of the trap. So I knew we'd have one beaver today. But who would have known there was gonna be, it was gonna be triple. Okay, trap is right back here again. There we go. There's nothing, I, didn't put, I haven't even been putting mud up here, you guys. That's how good this lure is. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I just broke this off so I could have a little more room here to put some beaver lure on this stick. All right. All right, there we go. Got a bunch of bearded man again on this stick. I'm gonna put it right there. For these beaver to come swim up here. Maybe I'll put some mud on there or something. But, I just don't know how many beaver there can be in this place. Crazy. All right, another check down. Another bunch of beaver down. There's the lodge right there. Tell me how 21 beaver can fit into this pond. And there's the three. Caster mound, bank den, and then a foothold right here again. There's, there's the railroad track, I think I've showed them before. It's still ice on there. Is it possible there's beaver coming across? I don't know. But I reset the traps, I guess. We'll find out in a couple days. Hey everybody, what's up? We're back for another check on this pond here. Um, so I'm gonna give you an update. <clears throat> I, I originally thought that I'd caught 21 beaver out of this particular pond here. But after going through all my videos from last fall, that is not true. Close, but not true. So I took five beaver out of this pond here for them, and then eight out of this pond. So that was 13 beaver last fall. So eight out of this pond, five out of this pond, 13 beaver. Now, so far this spring, we've taken 10 out of this pond. So that is 18 beaver out of that one pond, and 23 total. But, um, yeah, I so we're back out today to try to check these traps and maybe catch another beaver or five or whatever is left in here. I I feel bad for the the cool Myers. They're really nice people. I'm actually uh, good friends with some of their family as well. Um, but we're here to try to save their trees. And you know we have there's some there's some oaks that are wrung out over here that are not going to get chopped down all the way. Hopefully they don't die. But anyway, we are going to try to save your trees. Let's get at her. Well, unfortunately, my GoPro is dead. So there'll be no GoPro video today. But got to this caster mound here, you guys. And we have 
pretty good sized beaver. Beaver number 11 out of here this spring. There it is right there. And it's another, it's, this is another big beaver. <laughs> I'm just gonna, oh, oh, there you go. <sighs> another big beaver in this trap. Um, I'm gonna take it out here and then I'll let you look at it, okay? Well, there it is, quick reset on that trap. I've taken, I think I've taken four beaver out of this set itself right here. Just a little mud back there and just some bearded man and a stick right behind the trap, you guys. There's that big beaver right there. Well, we'll go check the other ones along the road here. Yo, what's up everybody? It's a little windy out. I'm gonna try to finish this video quick. Anyway, it's been like four days. No more catches at this pond. Um, I've taken... Twenty-four beaver out of this out of this place. I believe nineteen and swans. Nineteen out of this pond, and five out of this pond last fall. So that's dude the nineteen beaver out of this pond. That's ridiculous. Like I'm pretty sure thirteen of them were were extra large to blankets. That's totally unheard of. Anyway, I'm glad I could get the beaver out of here for you, Robin, and. Uh, get this under control for you anyway you guys this is my last beaver trap video obviously because it's open water fishing time uh, I'll be back in the fall with more trap videos maybe something nuisance in the summertime we'll see thanks for watching peace